and Manny, welcome back to my channel, Soquel Shave. So we're gonna get into a shave here with a razor that I uh, recently acquired through a uh, trade. And the razor today will be the uh, R1 uh, ATT, above the tie. And this was the, um, <clears throat> this was the razor that I traded uh, uh, Chicano shaver those of you those those of you guys may uh, who may know him as uh, um, uh, Marcos Jesus Mendez uh, So check him out on his YouTube channel um, So we're gonna try that today. Um, I was gonna try out a feather um, But I did run out of the feathers. Um, I do have one here on the set. that has got one shave on it. I believe or I don't. I I chucked it. So <laughs> we're sharing our luck on that one. So uh, we're gonna be using the bix. So I had already planned either to use a bic or a feather. So um, I might have to end up changing out the blades to the uh, shave, and I'll just pause in between the frame and I'll switch out the blades and and I'll explain what shave I got along with the uh, razor. And excuse the noise in the background. Our ceiling caved in uh, the um, <laughs> the neighbor up on top had a leak in their water boiler I came home and everything was on the ground water everywhere so we're putting everything away getting everything sorted for tomorrow morning uh, they already came to, to do some other repairs but uh, we got to take all the dishes out because we're gonna be down the cabinets to put uh, some more um, uh, chalkboard or uh, you know what I'm talking about right uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, so um, throughout the shave, we'll be going going in and, and switching out the blades. And today's uh, soap, if you guys already seen the uh, intro there, going to go in with Leviathan uh, soap and splash. And uh, <clears throat> I do have my puck blooming here on the side. In fact, let me, um, there you guys go. And again, for those of you guys who are, uh, are new to the channel um, I did uh, uh, I was a big um, soap bloomer in the very beginning and uh, bowl lather in the very beginning and I just uh, went back to basics uh, I've I really missed it I've enjoyed it um, and um, I for one like I have mentioned in several videos uh, for someone who started out uh, bowl lathering and, some, and for someone who started out uh, um, soap blooming, I personally can tell the difference and there is a positive difference. Um, I know some can't really tell certain things. Um, maybe it gets just as mental. I don't know. But uh, for me, I definitely tell the difference. Um, again, matching aftershave splash. And uh, I will show you the back of the hug there if you guys choose to pause that there you have it <clears throat> aftershave bomb of choice will be the Nivea man maximum hydration and my brush of choice will be the that darn Rob um, spalted oak um, I have it blooming here and there you have it, nice gel tips. This is the V3 Fancherian Spalted Oak from That Darn Rob. Uh, really, really awesome. Very, very beautiful, gorgeous, and well-performing brush. Uh, the reason why I'm pulling out this brush, I was contacted by a fellow um, um, subscriber. And um, he had asked some questions about, you know, what are the best knots out there? And I gave him a long list of advice <clears throat> on what to look for, what to stay away from. And um, yeah, uh, this is what led to me pulling out this brush here today. And given the season, um, the season that we're in, close to Christmas, um, I figured this would be a nice, um, soap to pull out again. I have used this in the past. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, when I first got the soap, it wasn't a scent that uh, was an acquiring taste uh, or a scent to my liking, I guess you say, and it is an acquiring scent. There we go, I got it right. <laughs> um, so as I've uh, used it throughout um, 
throughout the uh, days since I, I purchased it or since the day I got it, excuse me. Uh, I got it through a, a gift, a PIF through my brother, Mike Yasmer. So Mike Yasmer, if you're watching, thank you, brother. And um, just gonna load the shit out of it. Why not? These soaps are gonna last us three lifetimes anyways. Our great, great, great grandchildren want to finish our soaps. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is definitely an awesome soap to use. I love the dry down. It comes out really nice with a dark uh, sandalwood, dirty sandalwood, and then the coffee comes through really, really nice. <clears throat> and uh, I do have my skull here sitting on the side. And this we've got globs of um, soap there. All right, I'm gonna just grab this soap out of the puck, put it into my scuttle. The scuttle I am using today is from Dirty, Bur Dirty Bird Scuttles, or Dirty Bird Pottery, excuse me. Just rinsing out my um my soaker. So I hope you all are well and doing fantastic, having fantastic shaves on myself. I'm doing great. Uh, I guess besides the damn ceiling coming coming down, uh, but there you go. Um, I just got out the shower not too long ago, and uh, it's time for a shave. So uh, I am using my scuttle here and it is full of warm water. And uh, let's get to gathering. Yeah, so um, I had just mentioned to this, the commenter, one of my followers, not to buy into all the BS. Um, you know, a an expensive, an expensive knot does not mean a good knot. There are knots out there that run anywhere, anywhere from uh, eighty dollars over a hundred. In fact, um, there are so many knots to name out there. And uh, at one point in time, I did remember the name of the knots, but. I just, I give up on it. It's just too, there's so many knots out there that are the same knots, but they're called something else. You have to, and that's the thing you have to, you have to understand. That's why I say don't buy into the hype because the same knot will be sold by this, by another company under a different name, but the same exact knot. Um, and to be quite honest, they all come from China anyway. So what's the, you know, <clears throat> save your money, save your money. And I told them, um, I know a lot of people don't, aren't gonna like or be pleased by what I'm gonna say, but save your money. And just like I told the commenter, um, it's like soap samples. You don't know if you're gonna like it. You you know, you would wanna try it, see if you like the scent or if you're gonna have a reaction or if it's gonna perform good. Uh, same thing with uh, brush knots. If you wanna try, you know, certain types of hair, um, different size knots to see if it's your liking without spending that kind of money and having a regret or, or a buyer's remorse, the best place or the best option or advice I can give you is go to Yaki. Yaki has got very affordable knots, very affordable brushes, or go to Magnet Razors. So, uh, you know, just like I told him, you know, look at this. Nice. Um, gonna add some water to this because this is a, actually, you know what? We'll leave it at that because I have no room to put any more leather. Holy moly. But anyways, I already knew I overloaded and I lo overloaded on purpose. Um, yeah, so um, I mentioned, you know, Yaki, as much as 
uh, much gripe as people are going to give you and as much as they're going to bad, um, badger it, pardon the pun, no pun intended, um, give it a bad rap. Um, they all serve a purpose in the wet shipping community. Like I mentioned, it's, it's a chance for you to kick the tires on the car before you test drive it, before you make your full purchase. So, you know, that think of it that way. Brand new Bic. And, uh, you know, before you have some kind of buyer's remorse, you know what I mean? That's the whole reason why we test drive cars, right? You do a walk around inspection and see what's what, look under the hood and uh, get the information, you know, how many um, how many owners are, are on the car, if you're buying it pre, uh, pre-owned pre and if you're buying it new, you know, what uh, fuel mileage does it get? There's a lot of things that you ask about, you're worried about, you know, you want to check it out before you buy it. So here you have it. And this is the 13 model made in the US. Um, sorry. So yeah. Um, I mean, people have their gripes about samples aren't good, samples this, samples that. They don't perform the same. Look, dude, I haven't had any problems with samples. Maybe you're doing something wrong, and I'm sorry. You know, I'm not trying to call you out or anything, but you're definitely doing something wrong if uh, you're possibly not getting good results. Um, it could be, you know, and it could even be, you know, a really old batch, but as long as you hydrate it, um, I don't see, you know, why you should have any issues. I put that, that, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, stereotypical, um, or I put the stereotype to bed real quick because, um, I bought on top, I bought into all the bullshit too, when it came to samples and, um, I was like, You know, this sample is didn't perform the way I was hoping. I love the scent. Um, so I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy the um, soap anyways, cause it's most likely just an old sample. Now, I purchased the damn soap and I got the same results. Every sample that I've purchased that I enjoyed was exactly the same way it performed. Uh, First pass with the name. Um, the way, same way it performed when uh, I picked up the full size tub. Marcos was getting rid of this razor because um, he was going to use the funds to get uh, to um, he was going to use the money to support his funds on the uh, his uh, straight razor that he purchased and uh, another reason was that uh, you know uh, he thought the razor was too aggressive for him And I have tried the R1, but in aluminum.
and um, I too was not happy with it, but I'm kind of wondering if maybe I made a mistake and was just using the wrong blade. I've I got the um, I've got the ATT Calypso. And I have it in, um, I've got the um, M1 and the M2. And what I am finding on this razor is um, if um, I use too shallow of an angle, I can hear that the blade is starting to flex. So that tells me that this blade has got excessive, or I wouldn't say excessive, but more than usual um, positive blade exposure, meaning the blade sticks further out towards the, um, towards the, uh, towards the, um, the safety guard. And that's what's causing uh, the shave possibly to feel aggressive. So I was advised to use uh, someone who got the razor, which is uh, Tony Tony. My brother Tony Paladino who's got this razor and he advised me to use some of my sharpest blades to avoid any possible um, <clears throat> blade chatter. Since he and I both got very coarse stubble, I've learned a lot from that guy over the years, man. I'll tell you what, from a lot of people, in fact. So what I'm doing is um, using absolutely no pressure, letting the weight of the razor do the job, and just going really, really steep on the angle.
you can definitely feel the blade. There is no mistaking that. This is one of those moments where um, it's very important um, to know your the mapping of your face. So you know which way to go to avoid any irritation or nicks. <clears throat> Believe it or not, I think the uh, the R41 head is much more aggressive than this um, since I've already used it. But the uh, R41 head um, is much smoother because uh, the blade exposure is more is properly proportioned or properly set. Um, not not that this one's not you know not properly set, but it's set this way for a reason. Um, now this one is uh, definitely not a razor for someone who's got coarse stubble. This is where we're going to see what the razor is about. This is something uh, a razor like this with a uh, positive blade exposure that this one has is a razor you want to take your time on. Um, slow it down uh, if you have coarse coarse stubble. Take it very easy. So if you feel the blade catching, back off and go slower.
nice. <clears throat> but my lip is some of the coarsest stubble that I have. Let's see what it does. Nice. Wow. Almost no cleanups. Here and here. All right. Not bad. <laughs> nice scent. All right, guys, I'm gonna do my cleanup stuff. Come on, I'll be back. Nice. All right, let's get in with the elm stick. The cleanups weren't too bad. Definitely a razor you want to be careful with because of the um, <clears throat> blade exposure. So that can cause some issues. For those of you guys who have um, fucking hair. <laughs> For those of you guys who have um, really um, light stubble you're probably looking at us like what the hell are you talking about that razor is super smooth well we got coarse stubble it's a different story let me rinse this off a little bit all right nice shave let's get in with the aftershave splash yeah so Everybody's face is different. Um, style of technique, ways we shave, facial growth, uh, pattern of your face. Um, everyone's different. Um, for me, the reason why I got rid of my straight razor was it was an extra hologram, 5'8", if I'm not mistaken. Um, and my facial coarse, or my coarseness of my facial growth was too coarse. And it would just chatter. It would, no matter what angle I put, if I added pressure, took away pressure. Um, and for Marco, she's getting on with it just fine. And uh, I'm getting on with this razor. So <laughs> we're even, <laughs> even Steven can't complain. So yeah. Uh, uh, thank you also, uh, Marcos, for uh, taking me up on the uh, the trade. Uh, gonna get him with the aftershave bomb.
Now all there is left to do is I mean, put that um, razor to good use. It's definitely got a good home here. It will be put to good use and shown the love it deserves, just like Marcos is putting my razor uh, through his paces and giving it the love that it deserves. So good on both fronts. So that's gonna allow me to be able to put some blades with this razor. And who knows, even get a even much more uh, smoother shave that I got today. So, uh, let's do the recap. This is the scuttle I went with today. My Dirty Bird uh, Pottery Scuttle. There you go. Uh, soap of choice today was <coughs> Leviathan from Barrister Man. Again, there's the back of the label there. And there is the soap all rinsed out. Smells awesome, gonna have it on the side here. And uh, use this off camera, my uh, brush scuttle, just to keep it warm. My brush of choice was my uh, That Darn Rob Spotted Oak with a V3 Fanshurian Badger 26 millimeter. Uh, razor of choice was the trade from Marcos Luz Mendes at um, Chicano Shaver. The uh, R1, R stands for regular growth. One stands for uh, solid bar, for solid bar, closed comb, basically not an open comb. Uh, Blade of Choice was a brand new big chrome platinum that did really, uh, really well on its first use. Matching aftershave splash, uh, Nivea Maximum Hydration, Nivea Man, should I say, excuse me. And that is my shave. Really, really awesome. BBF, uh, trouble free, irritation free. Really, really loved it. Uh, so thank you again, Marcos. Really, really appreciate it for you taking me up on the trade. And that is my shave, guys. If you all like what you see, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe as always. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Just to stay for there. Later, guys.